Chelsea making them head towards their first three points of the season for Sergio Libera's Mumbai City FC. Roland Borges, first time ball to Bamu. Bamu now edging closer to equaling the record for most assists in the Hero Indian Super League. Lafonda finishes off his birthday tomorrow. In the box, Debjik brings him down. Lafonda gets his second penalty of the campaign. The second of the night, third of the season, but this was the pick of the three. Of Beche. Oh, the kick went the right way, it still goes in. For a brief moment, you felt the keeper might save it, but joy to Mumbai City FC. They've broken through the 30th minute from the penalty spot. And they've got reinforcements bombing forward. Bibbon Singh's there. He looks inside for Beche and the head. Yeah! And the goal! It's Rock and Roland Borges. 2-0 Mumbai City FC. Well, you said it, Andy. The fatigue, and you could see that as they were chasing down. The Bamu took his time making sure this is the last action of the first half. And now the header. And it's got the desired outcome. Unbelievable. Hernan Santana, the Spaniard, has popped up. And that would be, by my reckoning, his second goal for his new club. It's not over until it's over. He scored here against SC East Bengal in a 3-0 win. He's popped up deep into stoppage time. Jahu with a set piece aimed predictably from the time foul and yeah. touched him and put away. Would you believe it? This man will score them at will. You're presenting with a sniff of goal. Mumbai City have taken the lead for the very first time and Lafonga gets his fourth goal for his new club. In Bambalim, Gibbon Singh inside of Bechay! number 59 in the Hero Indian Super League. And here's a link-up play, Lafondre to Bippin. Bippin just seemed wonderfully to square that across. Lovely weighted pass. And Obeche, cool, calm and composed, just side puts it past E.P. Renesh. And we re now we have a game on our hands. And the opportunity may go, though it is with Bippin, and here it is now! Oh! Absolutely sensational strike at the end of a cracking move and Mumbai City move further clear at the top of that table. It's a super strike from Vignesh. That is an absolute stunner jump. What a brilliant strike from Vignesh. Wow. Nice to retain the possession then just passes it straight to the opponent. That wasn't in the the intentions. It will come across to Lafondra, quick feet, quick goal! Adam Lafondra strikes again, he's up to five for the season. He's Mr. Carbus personified where it counts in the penalty area. It's 2-0, Mumbai City. It's all come about because Cy Goddard's gone out wide and they put Renier in the hole and Renier is the one that's done all the work off the ball here. He's gone, he's closed down, O'Day with that little back heel. It's Borges that fires it in, but look at that touch jump. This is what you get for your money, you get quality. It's Borges who just finds him, he opens himself up with a wonderful touch so it's out of his feet to give the Islanders a 2-0 lead. Lafondra, it goes straight up the middle, the keeper had gone one way, it doesn't matter, it counts. It's goal number six for the Englishman, he's on such a roll. And yet another penalty in the Hero Indian Super League. Well, it's definitely an indirect free kick is what he's awarded. How about this for a clearance down, but oh, yes, it's two! Not two from Babu, that's his first, Mumbai second, they've taken total control, they're rejoicing on the bench here, they're celebrating like they've won the title, and who can blame them? Ten minutes into the game, Mumbai City have delivered a second blow to the Blasters.
movement in there. Can get the first goal of the evening early. It's under the crossbar. It is into the net. And the league leaders have gone in front. Thank you to the big, big, big man, Matada Fowl. Well, we said would Eric Partalou be missed, particularly from set plays. And you have to say, yes. Just eight and a half minutes on the clock. I mean, it's... Well, to be honest, I don't think that was the best corner that we've seen, John, because the ball was looped right to the far post and headed back across. It's definitely one off the training ground. Oh, back there, by the defending. It's a decent ball in here, and that is two. It's Bippin. He wasn't going to miss this one, and he has tucked it away, and he's tucked Mumbai City into a two-goal lead inside quarter of an hour. Stunning, absolutely stunning, John. Bippin this season is a man rejuvenated, and that finish there was sublime. Take nothing away, though, from Mandar and that ball in. Real quality. It is a Goddard corner, it is a deep one. I bet you will be up for it. Oh, it's got in! The keeper has funneled it into the net. Gerpreet will be horrified when he sees a replay of this one, but Bartok Bichi, the man from Nigeria, the record scorer for two clubs, has headed a goal here, and he's headed Mumbai City to the top of the table, almost certainly. This is an absolute horrible mistake here from Gerpreet. It's not the most powerful header from Ogbeche. He makes contact, loops well, it's a good header. But Gerpreet lands on the ground, doesn't have a clutch on it, and it just pops out of his hands and behind him and into the back of the net. It's a poor goalkeeping error. It's dangerous now. The back heel, the opening. Oh! was tempted to change it for the Fondra, he has to think twice. Absolutely spot on. Spot on, Andy. I think Lafondra's just going to park himself back down on the bench now because of that moment. What a wonderful piece of skill. And it just summed the game up. Counter-attacking football that fell short. And then all of a sudden, you've got ATK under the counter-attack. Hernan plays a simple enough pass. Bumu gets on the ball. And what a bit of skill, he's picked the ball up in the centre of the park. He's allowed him to come back inside, little one-twos which he's been looking for all day, and what a back heel that is. Oh, it has to be said, the finish was world-class. I can watch this time and time again. Chip back in, dangerously! They have the lead, and you know who's turned up for them again. Matada foul when they need him. He's always in the right place at the right time to score a lovely goal. That oh, was a wonderful, wonderful finish, wasn't it? A real good, strong, solid header. And you have to say, it has been coming. They did create and have created the better opportunities this first 27 minutes or so. It's just a little flick from Bumu. But when they come out, SES Bengal, don't go and mark the players. It's OK, zone marking from set plays, but when it goes out, you have to get close to a man. Take nothing away from Matata Fall, though. Goals galore last season when he was at Goa. It's an angle headed away, but it's still a problem here now for Chennai and Pippen. He gets good delivery, and the delivery with the heller is bulletproof. That's bad on Beche. The Batman is back, goal number five for him this season. An absolutely wonderful cross, such an inviting ball. Just asking for someone to run onto it, and Bardock Beche doesn't fail to deliver. Once again, the big man comes up trumps in the big game. Well, he hasn't been in this situation before. He hasn't had his side being 2 0 down in a game. The move of the flex was a handball, claims of a handball. Now it's played in! And he's come on and delivered. He deals with it better than all of them in the box. They couldn't clear their line. There was a claim of a handball. And Adam Lafondra 
Well, this ball is flicked up to Bumu. The players are tiring. They didn't close it down. Everyone's appealing for a handball. They switched off. And that's great improvisation from Adam Lafondre. As the ball just drops towards him, he just adjusts his body so he could volley that into the corner. And there's not much Subashish could do because he struck it so early that the keeper hasn't even had time to get himself set, get him time to react. And it's a perfectly placed volley into the corner. Still waiting, still watching, just like we should. Mumbai City and Kerala, 1-0. Can Kerala Blasters hang on or rather increase their lead and prove a point? Yes, Sai Goddard, quickly, just like the first half, Sai Goddard. Bipin coming in and Bipin has equalized from a narrow angle. What a response, 20 seconds into the second half. That is unbelievable. If that's what the fight was all about, and what a response from Mumbai City. You can't ask for better. 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds into the second half, and this what's happened. A little channel run, the centre half doesn't go with Adam Lafondre. A little bit of intricate play with Sai Godard. And then a tapping, well, not so much a tapping. He's had to follow the shot in. Second goal of this Hero ISL season for Bipin Singh. Now Lafondra has a chance to turn it around. Lafondra smashes it with all his power. He's had chance after chance, but finally made it count from the penalty spot. Mumbai City back in the lead. Kerala Blasters once again, one up, two down now. Well, it's a gift for him, isn't it? It's a gift. Whether it's a penalty or not, we've got to find out, but somebody has to calm Costa down. This lad's missed, and I mean missed two guilt at chances, and he missed the target with his third effort. And he was under pressure there, because he knows he's got a goalkeeper in form that, that can make sense, saves from penalty spots. Goal number eight in the Hero ISL for Adam Lafondra. Challenge. Seriton skips past one challenge and Rowlands at that. Edu Badia. Uh, thought for one second too many for that. And now Bumu is off. It's going to be a goal here. Yeah. Bumu keeps going. It's a one on one situation. Bumu past Diraj. Hugo Bumu. Mumbai City's Bruce Almighty. Passes it into the back of the goal. The easiest goal that Hugo Bumu is going to score this season. Goal number 18 in the Hero ISL for Hugo Bumu, the elite of the elite attacking midfielders of the Hero ISL. 41 goal contributions now. So it's very difficult for defenders to adjust when each goalkeeper might have a certain trait. Off, oh, header comes in, Diraj beats it away, and then once again, it's gone in. This is the Mumbai City Fast Local, and it is heading clear. Heading clear to the top of the table, and how 2 0 within 25 minutes. This is exactly what I was alluding to. You talk about how your goalkeepers, when some goalkeepers come out for crosses, some deal with things differently. And you look at this young goalkeeper's come in, he's, you know, he's made a fantastic reflex save to keep the initial header out, but it's a free header from Hernan Santana. Will Mumbai City, who were in the lead and then back, back, and they go up again! They can And that, for me, this is why Roland Borges, he's in there for his defensive ability primarily, but he can also top up with vital, vital goals. And he missed a sitter, he wasn't going to miss from this close. He's almost inside the goal when he's tapped that in. So it begs the question, what is the goalkeeper doing there? I mean, that ball's bounced virtually on the goal line and he hasn't come and attacked it. But he won't be complaining. Backed up with performances and records. A side corner towards Lafondra! And it's a neat finish! Like sugar and air, like peppermint, as cool as you like it. Cabra beaten, Gurpreet beaten, Adam Lafondra gets goal number 10. Mumbai City are back in this. Yeah, it's a wonderfully cross, wonderful cross, and Cabra just reacting a little bit slowly. And this is what goal scorers do they just nick a half a yard in front of you, and it's a delightful touch from Adam Lafondre to just caress that into the far post away from Gurpreet Singh Sandhu. Now these fans have something to cling on to. Jackie is scooped towards Sai Goddard. Early ball in, looking for Lafondre. Goes up for him and loops it over Gurpreet Singh Sandhu. And it was a thought floating over the air. 
and it was suddenly then pulled down onto his head, looped over Goodfried, and Adam Lafondra, what was a thought, is now solidified as a goal, and it is 3-2 with 20 odd minutes left. Now we talked about Sai Godard's delivery. This is absolutely delightful ball, just chipped up and asking for the striker to just run on to it. And he's done brilliantly to get there ahead of the defender and flick it on. But you'll have to ask question marks about the goalkeeper. Set piece has been one of their key weapons in terms of getting back into games. Yeah, no side has scored more set piece goals than more Wait, Wait, Bechet! Hey! Brilliant header! Jahu with a delivery and Bartok Bechet diving in where it hurts. It's a brilliant header. Archdeep reacted. I think the ball was almost past him when he dived. It's a bullet header. Now, Vinny tries just let him run off of him, but that's a brilliant, brilliant header from Bartok Bechet. No one's tight enough, and he's just attacked that space, got his head on it, kept his eyes on the ball, and the keeper's got no chance. So Goddard's outside him, Bippin's in the centre, Lafondra lurking at the back of the box. Of Bechet, hit it on the turn, Bippin was a bit slow to react, but still finds the bottom corner. And again, Adish's defence has allowed Bippin too much space in the penalty area. They should have got the ball away, they didn't get the ball away. And once again, they've been made to pay for it. Bippin scores to put Mumbai in front for the first time. And is the title race very much back on track now? 2-1 Mumbai. Well, once again, the fullbacks they don't stop the cross. I think they get a little bit lucky here as Abeche deflects and rolls to him. But no one reacts quicker than Bippin. Sharp he's been this season. And it comes from Jahu, who could place it in right oh, to the back! Oh, it's on Beche again! It's another stunning header from Bartok Beche. Two goals in the game for him, and you can rely on him to get goals wherever he goes. A natural goal scorer. And Mumbai have got a little bit of a cushion now as we approach half time. It's Bartok Beche's second goal of the match, his seventh goal of the season, but made again by Ahmed Jahu. Yeah, once again, you know the main man, you know who it's going to be, but you have to deal with it, and they haven't dealt with it. Started his run from outside the box, and no one's picked him up. And there's a tenth assist for Jahu. So he's certainly making up for his errors defensively by putting it on a plate for Obeche. It's hard to believe when you look back through Bartol Obeche's sets. We'll talk about that in a second. Lafondre slipping it through towards Bippin again. Better clearance by Camel Britt, only as far as Sai Oh, what a finish from Sai to get in on the act tonight, he gets his debut hero ISL goal and Adisha have switched off at the end of the first half, two goals in two minutes, it's 4-1 Mumbai City FC and you really do feel for the juggernauts now as Mumbai have slipped into top gear effortlessly having fallen behind in this game, that is a wonderful finish. To the best players in this Mumbai City team and look at that for a strike. And Mumbai were involved in the biggest ever win in the Hero Indian Super League on the end of a 7-0 defeat against FC Goa in ISL 2. Here's Ogbeche. Got Sai alongside him, threads it through, Bippin. Little bit of space, Bippin! Yeah. Archdeep allows it underneath him. And Mumbai have scored right at the start of the second half. And Bippin's on a hat-trick now as well. It's another goalkeeping howler. But it's Mumbai City FC that go into a 5-1 lead. And he wondered whether Adisha might just batten down the hatches. Warner's weaker foot, he scored one with his left. And this time, players forced him onto his right foot, through the keeper, and the keeper should do a lot better there. It's just gone through Ashdeep's hands. And I think that's just maybe the pressure of being under the cosh with so many shots being struck at him tonight. But Sergio certainly won't be complaining. And we're talking about, we're building up to Bata. I bet you his hat trick. Maybe Bipin Sim might be the first one. waiting in the centre, it's Borges, bends it towards the corner, Archdeep fills, and Bippin has his hat-trick! Well, just minutes after Jahu missed the penalty, Bippin Singh registers the first hat-trick of Hero ISL 7, and fully deserved as well. It's more poor defending for Adisha, who failed to get the ball clear, but in match 105, it's the first treble, and it's Bipin Singh, it's Mumbai City, who goes 6-1 up. Well, sometimes there's justice in football, and this certainly was. This young man has deserved it for his hard work and perseverance. Could have had it the easy way with the penalty. It's had to do with the tough way. Followed in on that shot. That desire will help them get a goal in the first quarter of an hour. Maybe they're seventh now. As the tenth comes in!
Well, how many times have we seen this in the season? A ball aimed towards the far post. Obvious target, Murtada full. Once again, a brilliant ball from Jahu. A great header by question marks from Thierry. Should he have been tighter? Did he duck underneath that one? Did he get a shout from anyone? But it all doesn't matter. They will be absolutely delighted because their side are 1-0 up. Once again, courtesy of Murtada Fall. Who's it going to be? Hernan takes it. Oh, rattles the bar. And then it's gone in. It's Bartok Beche. And Mumbai City are two nil ahead. Almost a training ground trick off the crossbar. But that foul has cost it. He came on, Bagan. And Mumbai City, the fast local, is pulling clear. It's while saying that's a dangerous, dangerous area to give away free kicks, especially to a team. That has been so successful this season. We normally have seen free kicks aimed and Bartok Beche getting on the end of a header, but this was the unusual way to do it. In off the crossbar, Hernan Santana, the brilliant, brilliant free kick. And who reacts the fastest? Johnny on the spot, Bartok Beche. Fantastic reaction. The time is jumped to perfection. It's never easy when they come off the crossbar. And Hernan Santana just turned around with disappointment when he turned around the next time he sees the ball nestled in the back of the net. And I think this is almost, you could say, game set and match for Mumbai City FC. When he starts, he scores. Here he's on the ball now, looking to play that through to Lafondre. And he's put it in! And the commentator's curse works the other way. It's Hugo Bumu who gets his side level. Goa have failed to clear. And the man coming back after that four-month suspension has rifled one into the bottom corner. It's another impressive contribution from Bumu, a third goal of the season. And the league title shield winners are back on level terms. It's the ease that he's allowed to do this, though. And Jahu, look, as bright as a button, puts his hand on the ball, plays it to him, skips past Edu Badia, gets lucky there, but no one coming out to close him down. Donaghy's just backed off him there. Savio's trying to get back there and get that foot in, but that little bit of luck has gone with Bumu. And he's cool as well when he gets into positions like that. Should he have played? Should he have been left out? Well, he's answered the critics there, hasn't he? I think he could probably hear you. Big Nesh. Nesh Yahoo, who's onside. He's swinging ball in. For one! And they've leveled this water for once again. His 13th goal in the Indian Super League. He's unlucky for Goa because they led for just a couple of minutes and once again it's a set piece that's proved their undoing. Mortada foul, no one tracked the run once again and the header comfortably beats Deerash to make it 2-2. It's the second phase of the set play, they don't deal with it do they? Everybody goes to sleep in that goal with defence, no one marking and Matata Fall just strolls in, he stayed forward but again it's the quality of that ball in from Amajahu that just puts it on a plate for Matata Fall. And he's not going to make a mistake from there, is he? Not when he's given a second bite of the cherry. Shahu. Good ball in. Bippy! This is an own goal, and only Bippy got a touch on that one. And it's Terry with a second own goal of the season. Well, that long throw against SC East Ben Gorman, when he nodded past his own keeper and Aaron Dam, who made a save a moment or so ago has been beaten into the bottom corner and Mumbai City are back into this one and it's a Tyrion goal, his second of the campaign So it's another defensive mistake It's just a long ball played forwards, that's all it is The communication not there between goalkeeper and defender and Jahu with yet another rangey 50-60 yard ball forwards Tiri just deals with it. Is he calling? Is a random calling? He's obviously not said anything. That is a poor goal to concede from ATK. Moen began as well. Walt's had a foul, launches it long up. Beche gives chase. Just blocked off by Tiri. Oh, the goalkeeper's made a mistake. Aaron down. And it's Bob Beche in on goal. Can he finish? Don't outbox his Tiri. Still going. Bippy! Super League has found the bottom corner. Is Bippin the match winner in the final? It's Mumbai City 2, ATK Moon began 1. Well, it was mistakes again that are proving so, so costly. 
It's just a long ball played forward, and Jingen goes across with Tiri to just try and block it out. And Rindan gets it totally wrong, and then whoops a daisy. Obeche with two little pieces of brilliance to put it on a plate for Bippin. And Bippin, as cool as you like, just picks his spot in that far corner. Jingen, no chance of stopping that. Rindan, no chance. It's the pace that does him. And is he going to be the hero of Mumbai City? Well, we're into four minutes added time. Bipping gets a yellow card for taking his shirt off, but that won't concern him one little bit. It's his sixth goal of the season, and his exceptional season continues.